Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 Adding text to placeholder Click on the click to add title placeholder. The cursor appears in the text box. Type Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, click inside the click to add subtitle placeholder. Type an introduction. You will notice the entered text appears on the slide. It is important to save your work at regular intervals to avoid data loss because of any hardware or power failure. To save a presentation, click on the Save button or select the File tab and Save option. The Save dialog box appears. Specify the name My Presentation in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. The presentation will be saved with the name My Presentation and with the extension .pptx. Now let us learn about closing and exiting a presentation. To close a presentation, click on the File tab and Close option. The presentation will be closed, but the PowerPoint application window will remain open. To close or exit the PowerPoint application, click on the Close button on the title bar, or click on the File tab and select Exit option. The Microsoft PowerPoint application will be closed. To open a presentation, click on File tab. Select Open button. Click on the any PowerPoint file you want to open. While creating a presentation, you may need to insert new slides in it. You can add any number of slides to your presentation as needed. Whenever we add a new slide in our presentation, we must select its layout first. Open an existing presentation. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the new slide button in the slides group, on the home tab. A list of available slide layouts is displayed. Click on the desired layout. PowerPoint will add new slide, with the selected layout in the center of the PowerPoint window. The new slide can also be seen in the Slides tab on the left. To add pictures in presentation, click on the Insert tab. The Insert Picture dialog box opens. Choose the folder where pictures are stored. Select a picture by clicking it or typing the file name. The picture will appear on the slide. Slide Show Microsoft PowerPoint provides the option of combining all the slides of a presentation into a slideshow. It is just like the pictures in a photo album. It displays all the slides in a presentation one by one. To run a slideshow, click on the Slideshow tab and select any one of the options given in the tab. First option is from the beginning. It starts the slide show from the first slide. From current slide option starts the slide show from the slide you are currently working on. Custom slide show displays only the slides you select and Broadcast slide show feature broadcasts the slide show to remote viewers who can watch it through a web browser. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.